How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to replace the LCD on this Asus Republic of Gaming ROG Strix laptop. The specific model number is G531GT. However, the process is very similar for other gaming laptops, especially Asus Republic of Gaming laptops. Before we get into it, if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, subscribe for more projects and let's get into the tutorial. So when I boot the laptop on, we get the nice Republic of Gaming noise and we don't get any display. There's a couple of lines up here. It's indicative of the LCD being broken. And I also know that the previous owner of this laptop dropped it. So that leads me to believe that the LCD is indeed broken. I already did the HDMI test by plugging in an HDMI cord to the back of the computer, then plugging that HDMI cord into a TV and I had display perfectly fine, meaning that there's nothing wrong with the graphic card. It's just the LCD or the LCD ribbon cable but most likely the LCD. So what we're gonna need to do is pop off this LCD trim, pull out the old LCD, put in the new LCD. I got a replacement here. This one's sold on Amazon. I will put a link to it in the description. It's compatible for this laptop model and others. You need to make sure that you buy an LCD that is compatible to your laptop and do this at your own risk. If you're not comfortable with electronics, ask a friend or a family member to help you. And it's not that difficult. Some other things we're gonna use is a small Phillips head electronic screwdriver, a plastic prying pick to help us get off this trim. First thing we're gonna do is power off the laptop. Then we're going to take my little trim tool. I'm gonna to wedge it. You can either wedge it from the corner or down here. As soon as you get a little piece of the corner pulled up, you're gonna slide it around the border. There are some little clips here, so you do wanna make sure to release the clips with a piece of plastic rather than just pulling on the bezel itself. When I run this along the edge, you can hear the plastic clips releasing. You want to do it along these three edges. Now there's going to be adhesive here. So do be aware and be careful along here. Pull very slowly along this edge and you should be able to get this bottom cover off. I've actually removed this before so the adhesive isn't as strong. So expect a lot more wrestling with this adhesive strip when you're doing this repair. Now there's two adhesive strips holding in the LCD about right here. You can fill a sock with rice, microwave that sock, and place it on either side to help loosen up the adhesive. Or if your LCD is broken anyways, since your LCD is broken anyways, you can pry it. Just be kind of gentle with it because you don't want to yank anything out from the, the cable down here or to mangle up anything on accident. In order to get under the LCD, I found it easier to take off this top screw up here and this one as well. Part of the laptop framing because plastic itself is very weak. So the LCD is framed out with these two little bars connected to the hinge. And once you pull those off, you're able to get something pried up under the LCD to help remove that adhesive. You can hear the adhesive starting to pop and your adhesive is going to be much stronger than mine because I've pulled this off once before. You can be a little less gentle if you know you're not gonna be using your LCD and then you're gonna pull the LCD down towards you. Now we have the 30 pin adapter down here. It's held on with a little piece of adhesive and then it's plugged in. So you're gonna pull that adhesive off. You're going to pull the connector away from the LCD. CD. Another thing I just realized is that on the back of this LCD panel, the adhesive strips have these pullaways. So if you can see the pullaway down here in the corner, you can grab that and just start pulling. It's going to allow you to remove the adhesive that way. Pulling, pulling, pulling. And then our adhesive strip is off. Same on the other side. We're just gonna pull, pull, and then that adhesive strip is off as well. I wish I would have known that earlier because I pried this off and it's not the best way to do it. That's why you watch a video on YouTube instead of doing it yourself. I just re-lined up the adhesive on the back and then you take some scissors, assuming you had scissors, and then just snip that off. And same with the other side. So the number that I typed into Amazon in order to find the right LCD was this LM156LFCL03. And you could take a picture of this and send it to somebody on eBay or on Amazon as a seller. You can send them a message just to make sure if you're not sure. But I'll put a link to this exact same screen for this exact same laptop in the description for your convenience. It was about 80 
$80 for the replacement. And I'm gonna grab that LCD right here. It comes in this nice protective container. So you're gonna wanna be gentle with this. Now we're going to add that adhesive back on both sides like that. And now we're going to connect the 30 pin connector exactly like we removed the other one. We're just going to plug it in and then press that adhesive down. I did kind of wiggle it in one side and then to the other side to get it in nice and straight. And then we're going to rotate that LCD back, sit the LCD into place. You can move out those little bars if they're getting in the way and then feed them back to where they go. I'm gonna screw them back in. Now we're going to replace the bezel, just how we took it off. Gonna move that little tab out of the way and just seat it, line it up and just start working it from the corners and then pressing down along the sides. Because there are clips as well as that adhesive, you're gonna press down and try to get it all back flush. You could have power tested your monitor before putting the bezel back on, but already confident that this is going to work perfectly fine. So I'll show you guys the final product by pressing the power button right there. Look at that, there we go. A beautiful LCD replacement on our Asus Republic of Gaming Strix laptop. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the repair, throw in the comment section. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, subscribe so you don't miss another project. And I will talk to you guys in the next video, bye.